Hey, what's up? I'm Colleen and welcome to my channel. I'm just a girl who's enthusiastic about makeup and positivity. And when I say positivity, I mean bringing people up, not pushing people down. Being mean is not cool. Awesome people are not mean. So be kind all the time. So for today's video, I thought I would just film a quick little look that I'm doing um, that I'm actually going to wear today when I go out shopping and stuff. I mainly did this look because I wanted to play around again with Amy Hart's beauty color Wicked Witch, which I absolutely love. I got this around Christmas time, Christmas, Halloween time, but they still have it on their website. It's a really cool like duochrome color and it kind of, it has like, I don't, my lighting does not show the real awesome color shift, but like it's purple, but it also has like a goldishy beige shift in it, which is just... I'm going to try and get it maybe a little bit. It's just a really, really, really cool color. I like their multi-chromes and shimmers and stuff. I like Amy Hart's Beauty overall as a brand. I think that they're cool. So I really just wanted to do a look with that shadow. I'm also wearing purple, so it worked out perfectly. So I figured why not just film it and do a video and, you know, I know I hadn't posted um, a lot of videos this week. Um, I apologize about that. I actually wasn't feeling all that great. I Everyone's getting sick around me at my job. And just like I was doing so well and then my sinuses really started to bother me midway through the week and I just I couldn't shoot a video. I actually went to start shooting a video and was just like I can't my head is like pounding too much and I just couldn't do it. So I'm sorry about that but I'm going to try and get back on a regular schedule. I know I keep wanting to shoot another episode of Glamour in Pajamas. <laughs> it's like so stupid but um, I just I've been tired lately and it doesn't matter like do you really care probably not i mean it is what it is i'm going to stop rambling and let's just get into very quickly how i created this dark purple look so as always i just started off by priming my eyes and now i'm going to go into this like nudish color right here which is called sandstone and i'm just going to take a fluffy brush And I'm just going to apply that back and forth in my crease and socket area. I'm going to use this kind of as my base slash transition shade. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that dog. I don't, I think that's my next door neighbor's dog barking. It actually doesn't bother me too much because um, up until when my sister had moved out, her and her girlfriend's dogs live with me and sometimes they would bark a lot and like animals are animals and like whatever so I don't get like pissed off or anything um about them barking I'm usually pretty actually easy going believe it or not so just like that and then I'm going to go into the color Aphrodite which is this one right here I hate it when the back legs are the opposite of like where they are on the front. That's really annoying. Probably not to other people, but to me, like I have to like really concentrate on which color I'm digging into. And it's gonna take that on a Sigma E25. And I'm going to kind of apply that um, in my lower socket area as well as onto my mobile lid area, blending it in with sandstone. My, my sister's dogs didn't bark a lot. They would just bark like when someone came to the door or like someone had the nerve to walk by the house. <laughs> and it wasn't like continual, you know, it was just like what dogs do. They're such little cutie pies and I miss them so much. But they'll be, like I can go visit them and they'll be here visiting sooner rather than later, so. Then I actually want to go into the darker color um, right below, sorry, Aphrodite, which is called Grounding. And I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of that also on the E25. I just want to darken it up a tiny bit. So 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter glue and I'm going to apply that oval, oval <laughs> over my mobile lid. <laughs> and I'm just going to use like a flat, actually this is a lip brush, but I find that it works really well for me for doing this instead because it's nice and small and thin. Now let's wait a second for that to get a little tacky. I'm going to go into Amy Hart's beauty color, uh, Wicked Witch, which is um, the whole reason I wanted to do this look because I absolutely love this color. And I am going to just take that on my finger and I'm going to apply that everywhere I applied the glitter base. super cool color it actually does have like a color shift like a duochrome shift but my lighting does not show it at all like it goes purplish but it also has like a creamy orangey shift to it which is like really really just really cool gonna go in with the brush that I had um, Aphrodite on and I'm gonna just blend it out a little bit and I might go in a little bit more with Wicked Witch just to really make sure So like that so far. So off camera, I just did my face makeup and then I finished up this eye and I applied Urban Decay's gel liner and the color Main Line on my waterline right here. And now I'm going to go back into that Wicked Witch color Ooh. from, oops, would help if I could show you, from Amy Hart's Beauty. And I'm just gonna go into that with a little brown brush right here. And I'm gonna put that under my lower lash line. It's not the easiest color to actually do this way but I wanted to try it actually you know what it's actually faring a little better on this side I don't know why but it is but yeah it wasn't on my right eye I had a little bit of trouble with it but maybe it was just because who knows I don't know my eyes are sisters they're definitely not twins <laughs> like they're, they just, they function so differently when I go to put makeup on. It's like ridiculous. I don't know what goes on. I just want to brush that out a little bit. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to go into this color Save Me from Lele Posh. And I'm just going to put that on a pencil brush right here. Sorry, it was a little just like organized. really really fun like um, color shifting color definitely leans towards like um, pink and purple so I think it looks really good for this look this is the whole look done right here I like how it came out. It's a nice deep, um, like purple look. I really love the color Wicked Witch by Amy Hart's Beauty. I just think it's a lot of fun. I like the brand overall anyway. I think they're really cool. Um, I really was excited I got to use Lele Posh Save Me in my inner corners and got to use Ether Beauty's palette as like the base because they're another really cool brand that I currently enjoy. Also, one thing I also want to mention was the foundation I use. I'm actually really enjoying this one. It's Cover Girls. Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I think it's really, really nice. I think it's cool that CoverGirl went um, cruelty-free, which is awesome. And this is nice. It's kind of like a light coverage you can build up a little bit. Um, 
at least for me i find it to be kind of like a light coverage the only thing is it does have coconut milk in it and it smells like coconuts but it also kind of smells like hazelnuts so like i'm wondering if there's hazelnuts or something in here which would be really weird because people have a lot of allergies to that i think it's just the coconut the way the coconut smells so if you don't like that or you don't like coconut oil you wouldn't like this one but i like it overall and my lipstick is from trixie mattel and it is stacy and i just love this because it reminds me of Polly pocket slash barbies from the 90s which is what i loved playing with when i was a kid so anyway i hope you guys have a fantastic day if you liked this video please feel free to give it a like if you really really like this video please feel free to subscribe if you want to do neither that is totally fine thanks for stopping by and just watching me put on my makeup i will still send you positive thoughts and happy va <laughs> i will still send you positive vibes and happy thoughts your way just for stopping by hope you have a fantastic uh good week as always, I will list everything that I'm wearing on my face as well as my Instagram and Twitter handles in case you want to follow me there. I post pictures of makeup looks that I do not film as well as pictures of my pets because I think they are adorable. But, you know, I am biased, but I think everyone is when it comes to their little fur babies. So anyway, from one makeup lover to another, have a fantastic day and remember, be you, do you, love you. Bye.